Hi everyone, welcome to Enough is Enough. Ace of Pyrite back with you again today and we are continuing our verticality series. As you can see we're going to be looking at the consulate map which was requested by Rottenham1738 so thanks for that dude. And basically we're going to get started on the attacking side as we usually do but we're also going to have defensive spots and this time I'm also going to do some plant spot protecting for you using that verticality again. So what we're looking at first is this garage hold, so potentially a bomb location, uh, you've got the garage door can be banded, tricked, you've got the space behind white van and then you've got that little runway sort of behind white van as well. And then in the other area of that bomb objective, you've also got a nasty little spot in behind fridge that can be quite common, but also can be used as a plant spot as well. So we're going to have a look in piano. So officially called press room, but known generally as piano. This room is really popular and sort of the surrounding little corridor outside bathroom as well. So the first spot you can take out is here by the wall between the plant pot and the stage and that's going to help you clear those bandits off and if you've got somebody who's trying a bandit trick, you've maybe lost your thatcher, lost your twitch, you can get the bandits or you can even get bandit himself if he's there. If you just look there, if you get yourself back to stage you can get into that corner where people like to hide and then if you start shooting out just behind the actual piano, behind between piano and windows you can get that area in behind white van which is really popular for people to to stand when they're trying to watch yellow stairs so piano on this room is a really sort of pivotal sorry piano on this map is a really pivotal room really um, very very commonly heavily defended and heavily attacked so there's going to be a lot of action goes down you've got to be careful you've got to draw them properly and just see who's holding it uh, from where you can see there as you move out into antechamber it's called but it's just the corridor that links piano and uh, main lobby you can just shoot out the floor just over the threshold of the door and you can get a view on all of that run behind white van really stop those rotations and then further out this is just outside of bathroom just shoot between the the war the door and the bench there and you can get into that it is a plant spot potentially but it's also a spot where they can hold an angle on the door through to blue so the next one that we're going to be looking at is attacking the console office and you've got this little cabinet area, this little sort of walk-in area. Really popular for people to stay in there, try and hold angles, they'll have the wall behind them reinforced. You can possibly shoot the wall out above the reinforcements and get a frag grenade in there from Skylight, but not always effective. Once again, piano, very, very useful. So there's a hatch in there. If that's not been reinforced, you can shoot that out. You can see you can get a direct angle up into that corner. Um, and if not, then you can just toss a frag grenade up and you can hit the other side. Alternatively, if you shoot the ceiling out, it's the second time. Out. so I'll just show you there that's the hard surface if you hit that you've gone too far so you want the second tile just get rid of the ceiling fan as well and then you can get a nice angle in there if they're trying to hold that wall and get a line onto the windows so next up we are looking at archives so this is more of a secure area objective but when archives is being defended you've got the space between those two filing cabinets really popular and then this single door out into blue corridor again really popular for the rotations if you can keep an eye on that you'll get some kills whilst people are trying to move in and out of sight they're trying to defend towards cafeteria there getting that long line of sight so basically you want to get yourself up into visa office and looking at the space between the column and the wall there nearest to tell us you can get a nice view down into the space between those filing cabinets that's a really popular hiding spot if you want a more direct view down into there maybe a little bit more sort of protected um, but the angle for you attacking is a bit more difficult just take a few steps forward now moving the windows aren't breachable but there are sort of external windows if you will so moving right over to the external wall between these two sets of chairs you've then got a view onto that single door between blue and objective so that's a good one again if you can get up there just before the push and you can start waiting for people to rotate back to site and get them as they come in through there and then just around that servers area where it's all lit up blue another really popular place for people to pay, play especially when the objective is being pushed they like to get up there and it can be difficult the, the lighting doesn't make it easy and um, all them grills and it just sort of almost like acts, acts like camouflage and cuts down the visibility so uh, just in between them two sets of middle chairs you can uh, get to that easily now then the next one that we're going to look at we've got uh, garage door there 
So we're looking at plant spots now. So normally what is going to happen is you're going to see a couple of big holes blown in this, hopefully by thermite, and you're going to be looking to plant the bomb down there in front of white vans. So you're going to get some smoke grenades in and you're going to try and get the bomb down there roughly on that ping. So what we're going to look at now is how can you defend that better? It's something that interested me because obviously you can take the external line or you can get onto yellow stairs, but if you can defend this from two floors away, it wastes an awful lot of time for them coming to find you. It's unlikely they're going to want to come all the way up to top floor to try and find you because they've only got 45 seconds to start doing something about that diffuser and start getting rid of it. So they don't want to waste time coming, especially if there's only one or two of them left, coming all the way up to the top floor to come all the way back down to defuse it. It's very, very dangerous and it's waste a lot of time. So if you blow the hole that you would to clear the bandits off, get upstairs to console office, blow the hatch out. You can see all the way down through both floors and you can protect that diffuser really easily from up there. There is another option. If you blow sort of between desk and the cabinet there, you can get an alternative view. So if they try to long arm it maybe from a bit further away and you can't get the view from the hatch, this is another option for you to stop that. So like I say, it's just about thinking, especially on consulate, because there's a lot of destructible floors. So you've got these options where you can actually get two floors away to defend that diffuser. And I've got another two for you. So another popular plant spot in behind fridge there. It does tend to be a bit more of a, a late round plant spot, maybe where you haven't got garage door open. You know, it's not necessarily the first option in there. Uh, but with the protection of the fridge, you've only got one doorway to cover whilst the, uh, whilst the plant goes down. So not a terrible location. So the first hole that you want to blow is just, if you, you hit the papers, you can get an angle onto it from the one floor. But that's not what we're looking for. We want the second, uh, the two floor advantage if you will so you just shoot where the green book is it's uh, much closer to the wall and you're going to get quite a vertical view and then just shoot that ceiling tile out that's directly above you the one with the ceiling fan and then if you get yourself up it's not consulate office it's the room sort of adjoining consulate office if you will just to the left there it's waiting room and you can see that hole's waiting for you it's a little bit tricky sometimes just to get the angle because obviously you can only aim sort of so far vertically but uh, just get yourself maneuvered around until you get that nice little angle there so you've got uh, the bomb hopefully right in that corner the diffuser and you're going to take shots at people all day long and again they're not going to want to clear all the way up now a nice little trick here and this is you know potentially usable on any of these as well is if you've got frags you can usually it takes a little bit of uh, jiggling around just to get them to tumble down through those uh, through those joists but you can get a frag grenade all the way down there as well so another option for a kill now the last plant spot we're going to look at is the main lobby plant spot so generally people quite often maybe try and get a, a Monty just inside, smoke it out, glass outside and get that plant down just inside in that corner and then you can get outside and watch it from a distance. You're still susceptible to things like run outs, potentially they're going to try and hit you from behind reception desk so just to get yourself in a pinch situation if you get up into the hallway just at the top of circular stairs you can blow through that soft wall into the uh, disco room as it's often called and then it's a case of just shooting out as much as you need to it's not uh, not always an easy one to find but you can see there I've just got a nice little angle into that corner if I take one more shot at the floor just off to the right of there I can probably get a better angle so I'll just do that now and you'll see I'll just get a better angle there so just shoot as much as you need to and then you can watch that all day long absolutely no problem and as soon as you know they're going to be concentrating on the outside more than likely because that's where they're going to presume that you are Moving now on to our defensive locations, we've got smoke as always, so those two windows looking into console office are really, really popular for a, blamp, uh, a bomb plant to be coming in. So if you get downstairs, once again we're in piano, I did tell you that a lot of this rotated around piano. Just blow out the the, uh, the second ceiling tile there, You can. I've just thrown a, a smoke grenade up there for a point that I want to make in a second. You can easily watch these two windows, they often have people repelling on them, but it's quite popular to just get in through there as well. Swing in and get the plant down behind the desk and that's why I've put that smoke bomb there because if you see it just lights up the entire desk area there so a good way of denying the plant potentially as well if they do swing in and it's quite a difficult angle when you're on windows there on repel to see that. And if you shoot out just next to it, the uh, the ceiling tile just along, you can see the back of the chair there that's behind the desk and that's where the plant spot's likely to be. 
Next up, we've got that single window into piano. So as I've kept saying, piano, very, very popular room. So always good to look for options of how to defend it. We're using the same holes that we've just blown to watch the two windows up in console, but basically just in front of the, the corner of that desk there, you've got an easy view down onto that window. Now from experience, it does tend to be that window that's used, the one closest to the external wall. Now, looking at defending main lobby entrance, so this could well be to defend against the plant if they're trying to plant inside main lobby. It could just be that that door has quite a lot of uh, thoroughfare. It's quite often used for people just entering the building, trying to make their way towards piano. So again, it's a popular door. And as I've always said, you just need to be looking at things like footfall. Where Where's the heavy footfall areas? Where can you guarantee that people are going to come in a map? Where are they gonna, which doors are they gonna move through? Which angles are they always gonna Going to try to hold almost every round and main main lobby door is quite a, a common one so you can see there we just shoot out the floor underneath the two single windows and that will give you a good angle now that same hole in the floor can also be used from below to defend these two single windows so i've just punched those out there so that you could see that it's the balcony that's out there quite popular to get a black beard on there for a top floor objective and again it's looking straight into one of the bomb locations and you can just cut off a lot of rotation there now this is a popular location for pulse to play because you can use that heart scanner to see if anybody is actually out on the balcony uh, it takes a little bit of uh, of destruction to get you've got to get all the plaster around that ceiling fan but there you can see if anybody tries to come in through that window you're going to have a field day and with pulse you can also get your your nitro cell up there because it's quite a popular plant spot just get straight in there plant in front of the windows and then it can be watched from the repel so quite easy to stop that the next one we're looking at is Visa's double door. Now this is used almost every single round without fail. If you're downstairs, they want to get in and get those hatches or they want to use the verticality um, into archives for secure area. Um, if not, it's just a good place to get in and move forward from. So one option is to blow the hatch upstairs. That's a common one and you're likely to get to get at least return fire if not killed. Um, but one good trick is to blow the hatch get their attention on there and then blow this small hole just next to the filing cabinet and you can get a much more vertical view on them and they're very rarely looking up there for that hole because they're so focused on the hatch so that's a cheeky one um, and also in the admin office you can blow out the northeast corner and that's going to give you a view onto the hatch that goes directly into archives so that's a good one for wasting some of those hibana pellets so when the hibana pellets go on just take them just shoot them off the hatch there and just get them wasted now looking again at that same double door into visa there is an option to defend it from below so you can get downstairs into the blue corridor and just in front of this light panel here if you take a few shots with your shotgun you're going to blow out all the floor underneath and you can see that you actually get a really good view of the door there now it's i think even a little bit actually underneath the door if you were to shoot all that plaster out i think you can actually see just to the left there up underneath the barricade so you can possibly even get some shots in before they start knocking that barricade out but another good option for defending that now last but not least i have got um it's probably some people are probably going to get in the comments and call me toxic for this one this is a bandit nitro trick so it's again for that double door now this one if you die to it is absolutely horrible so the same location that we've looked at for smoke blowing out there you can actually pre-place a nitro there i'll be honest i've I, I, for pre-placing a hundred of those I'd be surprised if two or three of them got thatchered very very rare that you're gonna lose that so get it pre-placed get yourself up into admin that means that you can defend admin if they start coming to admin windows or trying to work from the top floor down you can have you know have a teammate blow the hatch out possibly that gives you an angle on the front door what I would say is more likely blow the hatch out again as a distraction just to slow them down. So what you're going to do, you can do it two ways. You can get on the camera here and you can watch that front door. And as they start edging in, you can blow it. But the problem you've got there is the time delay between coming off the cameras and hitting your, your nitro trigger. So if they're moving quite quickly, you'll, you'll often miss them because they'll be past the nitro at that point. So if you want to do it without cameras, it's using that same shotgun spot that we looked at for smoke next to the filing cabinet. You get a nice view you down there and you're going to see them knock the barricade out you can do it really small to be honest you're going to see them come in through there and then as soon as they move through bang you can just hit your nitro and you'll get the kill all day long it's absolutely horrible I'm, but I, I can't even be sorry for it uh, it's, it's a good fun one when you do get it 
So that's everything we've got for you on Consular. Hopefully you can go away and uh, take something from it. Try these vertical angles. It's really, like I say, until you get into the platinum levels, it's really not something that people tend to be watching for. So both on attack and defense, really, really effective. And those plant, um, those plant spot watchers from two floors away, also very, very difficult to counter just because of how much time it takes to clear them. Um, and the shots are very difficult to return. So thanks for watching. We really appreciate all the time that you give us hopefully you've seen something that uh, is going to make you hit that subscribe button and that like button and can help you stop being that easy kill and say enough is enough we'll see you next time